Year 2021 was truly the most profitable for all Ukrainian banks according to the National Bank of Ukraine statistics. We lived our usual lives of specialists in finance. Every coming month was better than the previous one. Growth of loan portfolio, growth of deposit portfolio, people were getting richer. The level of expert revenue was the highest since 2014. On the 10th of February, Forbes held the Entrepreneur of the Year award ceremony. We were there together with the colleagues from iBox, Bank and Leo. The war is impossible in the country full of such talented entrepreneurs, and all of them are here. We did not understand the point of it. The prices of energy resources were on their peak in 2021. Russian economy was actually developing rapidly in 2021 owing exclusively to the prices for energy resources. There were no reasons to attack from the economics point of view. Ukrainians are so peaceful that no one could ever believe in the possibility of war. We were also witnessing the behavior of the VIP clients of national banks. A week before the full-scale Russian invasion, they started withdrawing their deposit money, taking back checks, all they had. Our home is in the village of Hora, in front of the airport. As he finished his speech, Borispil airport got bombed immediately. The word scary does not describe it. It was primal horror when your throat goes dry, the heartbeat goes fast, and you cannot pull yourself together at least to understand what to do. As a matter of fact, there are children and family at home. Everyone needs to pack. It's 5 a.m. and we're watching Borisville being bombed. At 5 a.m. I received a call from Alona. Are you asleep? I said, no, I'm not. She said, look out of the window, it has started. And at 8 a.m. I turned back and went to work. We were in the office because whatever was happening, we were responsible for the people around us. And they had to work. According to the Ukrainian law of the banking system, banks are the part of the country's critical infrastructure. Their major function is to provide continuous work. There were mainly women and children in the cars. The bridge was bombed and the Russians told us to leave the cars there. One of the cars was damaged while evacuating people from Irpin. It was broken and shelled. 
The other one got under a rocket attack. It was uh, an Iskander rocket attack. Those who were next to the car at the moment were killed immediately. The three people that were inside the car survived. At 7 a.m. I got up to feed the baby. And going back to bed, I saw that Alona was calling me. Mary, the traffic jam on the way out of Kyiv is huge. Therefore, recommend all the employees in Kyiv to leave the city closer to 2, 3 p.m. Because it's impossible at the moment. She had a special task, to call everybody at 5 a.m. and announce that we were attacked and simultaneously to find a hotel in the western Ukraine that would be free and could quickly receive the payment for 500 employees to check in soon. I knew we had representatives in Lviv. There is a Lviv office. It was quiet there. They didn't even know that the war had started. I reached our IT employee. I wake my colleague from the HR department in Lviv and we start managing those who are evacuating from Kyiv. The worst part was to hear my colleagues scared when I called them. Some of them saw military planes, troops. The hardest question at the time was, can you guarantee we won't get killed? Mary, our whole family is leaving. Berezovsky is following us. Pray for us. We understood very well that we need to stay close to Ukraine, because everything we have ties us very closely to Ukraine. Warsaw is a big city. It's easy to commute to Ukraine from here. When we crossed the border, Alona called and said that we were launching our office in Warsaw and that we need to recover business processes and was the best option, because we needed a distraction from the war. In 50 days, our employees already had temporary protection status, temporary shelter, they had a place to live and had signed rent contracts. We get a lot of requests to buy many things. When we were asked to buy first aid kits of a certain standard, there was a whole procedure finding them. There was no delivery from the US because those were military first aid kits. Every Ukrainian who is now in Europe or in the USA is an ambassador for Ukraine, in a way. The war is always a test. It's a test of trust and a test of teamwork. We have no option but to get to the victory.